You're studying for two different things you can barely remember. This is true. Alright, yeah. ready? Yeah. And you're ready. we are on. Live. Live with the dice tower. Alright, everybody. Hello, I'm Tom Vassell. And I'm Sam Healy. Today we're playing a game called Forbidden Stars, which is not quite out in stores yet, but I'm assuming it will be out within a few weeks. Now, Forbidden Stars takes place in the 40K universe. You know more about that than I do. Not really. <laughs> is it the year 40,000? Is that why it's called 40K? Yeah, something like Is it that. our universe? It's in, it's in the, yeah, something like that. All right. Well, anyhow, in the 40,000 universe, there is... Um, Only war. <laughs> so, there's many different factions. The main faction is the Imperial... Imperial Guard, but Imperial. they're not called the Imperial Guard anymore. They're called something else. But I mean, there's like there was like an emperor, although he may be dead or not. I don't know yes. which which version of the uh, um, the canon you're using. But anyhow, right. they're just fighting. Yep. So Sam is playing as always, or not as always. Nope. He has two factions that you play. Well, three. I play. Uh, well, yeah, I play. I played Space Marines, uh, specifically Dark Angels, and. I also played orcs. Um, didn't really have a specific faction of orcs, though. And then I also played um, had a, had an army of uh, sisters of battle and uh, some of the inquisitor stuff. I played Eldar, and um, I played Tau. Um, so this game has four factions. It has the Space Marines, Eldar, Orc, and Chaos. We're playing Orc versus Eldar since those were the factions that Whoa! we often. We often play these factions against each other when we played the uh, the 40k game. Yes, we did. Now this is a space combat game. You can see here on the board that actually the board is doubled in size if we'd be playing with four players. It would be there's there's uh, six boards here. There'd be nine in a three player game and uh, twelve in a four player game. On this board, we've set it up ahead of time, but building the board is actually part of the game. Mm -hmm. So you get you get some starting troops and you spread them out on planets. And we also put out these um, warp, storms. warp storms that basically stop you from moving to a spot. And we also put out objectives. Sam, to win this game, Sam needs to capture this planet here, which is called... Something. Rigget, or whatever. And he needs to capture this planet. Why did I put those next to each other? Because you're nice! That wasn't really a good... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that went through, did I? <laughs> I should have rotated this around. Yes, you should have. Okay, well, anyway, and then I have to capture... This is uh, Litheraria and that one over here. Uh, we're going to play eight rounds. At the end of eight rounds, whoever's captured more wins. I have no idea what actually happens in case of a tie, but we don't plan that there will be a tie. Orcs is win. So we're going to show basically how the game works other than that as we play it. Um, you'll notice that there's different units for each of them. Uh, there's For the Eldar uh, itself, we have um, different units. Uh, there's flags for the units. Which I think is because Games Workshop doesn't allow you to make little dinky LR units in Space Marines. Because maybe someone will use those in a Space Marine game. It was a subtle PR stunt by Games Workshop. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it was. <laughs> you think they would want the troops to... Okay, anyway. Of course not. Okay, so uh, the first thing that you do each round of the game is, in turn order, we're going to be placing orders out on the board. There are four different orders that you have, and there are two copies of each. So Sam and I are going to take you. turns... Yeah, well, we're um, behind yeah, in that yeah, one. Gotcha. Um, we're going to take turns placing these out there. Uh, to place an order somewhere, you either have to be in that area or adjacent to that area. And a few of the orders only go off if you um, have people in that area. So, I am going to place this one here. Okay, so you started that. So, all right. Now, it's possible when you're placing these orders to put it on top of one that someone else has played. There's like an order stack. You can even put multiple orders in the same system. <laughs> this is the most riveting part as you watch us carefully put out our orders. Yeah, tell me about it. Now, I can kind of sort of see the comments, but Blam. Um, we're just basically going to be not reading all those. We'll answer some questions at the end. Um, okay, I'm done already. Warlord Healy shall crush puny Eldar. 
It's your turn. That might be true. Might. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I'm gonna do. Hmm. That. You won't see any combat on the first turn, likely just because of where we have the warp storms. When you upgrade these, do they automatically happen? Do they automatically take effect? These guys. You mean like the next time you do that action? Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Um, and I'm going to put that here. Oh, did you start with six? Yes. We have little dials here. These dials are show how many resources that you have. So we each start with six. It's called material. Or materia, no, not materia, that's fantasy. It's that's, money. Yeah, it's just money. Uh, resources. All right, so we have four out now. Starting with me, I'm going to pick one of them and do it. Let's say I had put one here on top of that one. I could ignore that one for a while, and Sam would have to wait till I played it before he could play the ones underneath it. Being a jerk. Well, I'm not being a jerk yet. So the first one I have is this symbol here is dominate. Dominate is a fancy word for tax. So I'm going to tax the planets in this system here. And there's some red icons here. This gives me a Forge Hammer token. And I'm also going to get this one here. It lets me pick a token of my choice. And I'm going to take a money token because I need money. All right, your turn. I'm going to turn over this one, which means that I strategize. So Str um, Strategize is good for two, two reasons. At the beginning of the game, we each start with our own with a combat deck of cards. We're going to show you this combat deck when we fight, and I promise you we will fight. Um, and you start with five copies of two cards each. Sam has a choice to take two of those cards out and buy two different cards, better cards, from a deck of cards that we have to put into his deck of ten cards. Okay. So you got to show us what two cards you're getting, though. I'm going to buy... Oh, I'm sorry. Or instead of buying those... You can do both. You, you can do... Com you can do... Com um what are they called? One is called a combat upgrade and one is called an order upgrade. You can do one right. or the other or both. Are you going to? Yes. Yeah, you can also buy order upgrades, which are cards that when you play a specific order, you can do something different. Like instead of just, um, if I build these Wraithbone Singers, instead of just um, building structures, I can place a structure on a, on a world that already has a structure. Normally there's only one structure allowed per world. All right. I'm going to... While Sam's deciding, another benefit of playing this order here is at the end of a round, you're going to get an event card that's going to be beneficial to you. It's either going to be a tactic, which is like a one-time cool event card for you, or a scheme, which is like something that's constantly in play that's helpful to you. And I'm getting the uh, biker knobs. Biker knobs are coming in. Who's biker going out? Knobs. And uh, these are my schemes. Sorry. I'm going to take out... I'm going to take out... Now, when you take out cards... This is a question I didn't ask last time we played. Do you have to take out both of the same kind of cards? Yes, you do. Okay. You're only ever going to have five cards in your deck, two copies of each. You take out my Gretchens. Okay, so we'll never ever see the Gretchens in combat. Well, not, not that card, anyway. Okay, so Sam's done that. So now I'll pick my second one. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to build. This allows me to build. First, I can build units if I have a factory, and I do have a factory. And then I can build um, a building. I'm actually only going to build... Um, and the way that you build is you look here on your sheet and you, it tells you the cost of everything is here. And the sheets are very different. We have different things we're going to build. You also can only build some units if you have a certain number of cities in front of you, unless you pay a hammer, which lets you skip. So I'm going to, normally I can't build a Wraith Guard unless I have a city, but I'm going to spend a hammer to build a Wraith Guard, and that costs me three, but I'm also going to spend this token, which gives me a two discount. So it actually only costs me one, so I'm going down to five. And I'm going to place that here on this planet that you want. And then I can build a building. And I think I'm going to. I'm going to build a city there. Well, cities are three. 
Yes, they are. Wow, they're really expensive. Yes, they are. Wow, they're expensive. Um, I would advise you not to do it. Yeah, I'm not going to. <laughs> the power of Sam's suggestion. Very wise, very wise. All right, your turn. Next order. Uh, okay, I'm going to dominate here. And when I dominate, I can uh, purchase one unit and place it on a friendly world in that active system. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to put a uh, another Orc, orc Boys there. You know um, what? Then dominating what? I've already cheated. What'd you do? I don't have a guy in that world. You have to leave one there? No, I never had a guy there. So I couldn't... That, that's not a friendly world to me. That's your home world. Well, I know I didn't start with any guys on it. <laughs> we'll move one of your I'm going to put this guy here so that it makes... But I don't have this one now. No. Which is kind of foolishness because you're there. Yeah. But that's, that's okay. That's good for me. All right, um, I, I dominated here. It gives me these two things. Right. Okay, so I am going to turn this one over. That lets me do the card thing that Sam just did. And I'm going to buy just one card because I only have $2 left. Um, so I have nothing left. I'm going to buy, should I buy Wraith Guard, Fire Dragons, Swooping Hawks, or Wraith Guard Support? I think you should buy some coffins. Okay, you know what, just because you said that. You're going to need some. I am buying Fire, no, I don't want those. I want the Wraith Guard Advance, that's what's happening. I'm going to put Wraith Guard Advance in, and I'm going to get rid of the command of the Altar because that just sounds weird. All right, that's all I'm doing. You done? Yep. All right. I'm going to produce here, and I'm going to use this to reduce the uh, number of boys to zero. Are you building any buildings? No. Oh, I built a city. I forgot to put the city out. No, you didn't. You said you weren't. That's why I still had money left. <laughs> okay, so then, oh, then I can build here. Yes, you can. And I am going to build a city. Do you know what we built the city on? Rock and roll. No! On the bones of our enemies, fool! Yeah, right. That's us. That's not you. You guys are walking around with okay, like and the vaporized and stuff. On the vaporized remains of our enemies. Yeah, that's probably <laughs> correct. All right. All right. And uh, we're attacking here with my orc rocks. Uh, while resolving this order, you may move up to two of your units through one uncontrolled void. As if it were friendly area. Okay, so just to, to show a little bit about how maneuvering works here, Sam put the to puts the token in the area he's moving to. He can move everyone in that area plus uh, one adjacent area, which was here. Now normally he would need a ship here to move across, but he his, he bought cards. What's that card called? It's called Orc Rocks. Orc Rocks. Did it? Did I just send, like, giant rocks with orcs clinging onto them over? Yeah. Why not? Well, that's probably what... It's orcsy. All right, so that... So he's able to go over there, and he claims that planet. All right, so that we've all put out our orders now, and there was no combat that round. I didn't think that there would be. So now, between... That was one out of eight rounds. Now, what we do between each round is the first thing we do, and I need to... Quick... Hang on, so I don't forget what we do between rounds. All right, the first thing we do... Have either one of us gotten over our objectives? No. Then we collect materia. We look at all the worlds where we have friendly people, and we get that much material. So I have three, four. Is that it? How much do you get? I have no recollection of that, Senator. You have seven. I saw it. <laughs> okay, so I got four material, and Sam got seven. Then we rally any routed units. So if any units have been routed, which means they're face down, we rally, then they come back, and then we each draw an event, so I go first. If you put a token, if you use one of those tokens oh, that lets you draw cards. I should have done that. So I'm going to draw one of these event cards. Mine is Tactic, so this says purchase one combat upgrade. 
reducing its material cost by one for each friendly world containing a city. All right, so I can do that. A combat upgrade. So I'm going to pay one for that because I have one friendly city. Okay. And so I'm going to buy the... Now I'm, I'm buying Wraith Guard support. We're going to Wraith Guard the snot out of you. I don't even know if that's a verb. We're going to get rid of hit and runs here. Okay, so then also I look here and it shows that I need to rotate one of these. <coughs> so I'm going to rotate this one. So Sam's going to have to move this one somehow. Yep. All right. Flip mine over. It is a tactic. Gain two material, then choose a player. He loses one asset of his choice. Looting and stealing. Well, the good news is I don't have any asset tokens. All right. So I gain two material, though. Really? You're at nine? That's crazy. All right. And then uh, I have the little flippy thingy as well. I think, right? That one? That, yeah, that means rotate. So you need to rotate that one around one of the two axes. <laughs> okay, so these guys in the corner ain't going anywhere this game. Oh, man. All right. So that's one whole round, folks. We now go to round two with Sam going first. And we've kind of built up our troops a little bit. We've built up our combat decks. Now it's time to, well, we'll see what happens. I'm actually a little nervous now because Sam has all that money. But I have much bigger... Oh, that's really problematic. Alright, we're going to do this. Actually, I guess you get the side first. All right, you're done? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, Sam. Hmm. You only have one unit there. Only one can come over. Okay, that's fine. Because, yeah, yeah it's that's a limit one. of one. You're right. you, got it. you got it. Each planet here has a limit of how many people can be on it. So, like, for example, right here, this planet has a limit of three, and it produces two. And it's also a planet that I need to capture at some point over the course of this game. I don't like feeling defensive. I'd rather be on the attack. I shouldn't have let you get that world. I really like the artwork for this game, and the miniatures are really nice. They're a little bit softer plastic, so if you step on them, it will only hurt for an hour. As opposed to the, the war signs, which caused your foot had to be amputated. <coughs> you should place your foot. All right. You're first. Okay. All right, so there won't be any war this time. Not yet. Well, actually, there could be right there. I doubt it, though. I don't know. So you're just strategizing. Okay, so Sam's strategizing. So to speed the game up, I'm going to do my next thing, which is going to be um, building stuff. So it's the same thing. I only got three bucks, though, which isn't very much. Um, what do I want to build? Just one thing, I guess. Oh, no, I can build another Wraith Guard. I probably should. I build a Wraith Guard. Oh, actually, no, those can't all be on that planet. I'll still build. I'll still build a Raid Guard. Purchasing. Wow! 
This can only have one thing on it, also. Correct. That's problematic. Hmm. I'm gonna take out my neck boys. All right, so your card upgrade, you can go again. I just, all I did here is I bought another wreath game. Okay. Um. Okay, this gets placed there. Actually, we'll press it like that, so we know. I'm going to dominate here, so it gets me a ink and a blank. All right, I'm going to move here. And I'm not going to do my orc sports. The movement allows me to move this stuff and the stuff next to it, so I'm going to move this spaceship from All this right. void to this void. Two when you move a spaceship, they just fly from one void to another. Gonna and then I'm going to move two of these Wraith Guard down onto that planet. They move through the spaceship like that. All right, your turn. Oh. You can't dominate twice in the same sector, can you? Is there a rule that says you can't? I don't know. I'm just asking. I, I don't. I don't remember that you couldn't. We'll just assume you can't for now. Okay. Well, well it seems strange that you would, but okay. Yeah. Uh, in many <clears throat> games, in many games, it would be a. Uh, I'm going to produce here. Um, I'm going to look it up while you're doing it. Okay. So, I can only produce four units. Double check me here, right? Doesn't say you can't. Real okay. Quick. What? I can only produce four units. Four units total, but they can go on any of the They can go the on any of stuff. these. Well, not the one not that you're Not this down. one, because right. it's not friendly yet. Okay. Even though it's... They're savage orcs there. Okay. Well, we're going to uh, reason with them. All right. Um, so, you're just doing that. So, then yeah. again, to save time, I'm just dominating here. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Oh, man. Okay. I'm going to pay two for an onslaught attack ship. Um, man. Not sure how I'm going to do this. Then. Going mm -hmm. to. Going to uh, purchase a city, but I'm going to use no. Can't use can't use these for cities, right? You it says units, yeah. Yeah. Mm. And the city would have to go here. Yeah, I know. Might not. Might not. This game isn't about having massive amounts of troops. It's more about using the troops that you have in the most tactical manner. You'll, you'll find that you'll run up against. Uh, troop limitations quite a bit. Uh, no money. Uh, I'm going to use one of my forge hammers to buy a knob at three. Blink. And then I'm going to use this guy. Oh, you're not building a city now? No, I'm not. To uh, buy another boys. All right, it's your turn again then, because I already did, I just did my dominate. Put him there. Okay, so, my turn again. Yeah, that so, one. Okay, that's just another. Dominate. Another dominate. And mine is also a dominate. So now it's the end of the round. So at the end of the round again, we collect our objectives. We don't have any. We get our money. Which I believe for me has gone up to six. Yay! What's yours at? Seven. Okay, then clicked. And then now the cards. I I did not play one of those card orders this time. So I'm going to draw a card, but I don't get to do what it says. I just get to move the warp storm. 
So anyway, Sam, you're first. You did play one of those, though. Yes, I did. So what's the card? Oh, yeah, before you do that, that was a tactic? Yes. That gets shuffled back in. Okay. Because you have a chance to keep drawing it over and over again. This one's a scheme war boss. Play this card in your play area and then discard all of your other schemes. I don't have any. Um, when purchasing a unit, you can discard this card to reduce the material cost of that unit by one for each reinforcement token you have. Okay, so that's, that's interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, that I, was. Then I can move this. So you pick one of them. That way. Right. Yeah, I know what's happening. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And then mine, I have to rotate the other one. Well, let's cut off your ships. Hmm. All right, so I'm first this time. Still no combat. We're in round three. Does that bother you that there's been no combat yet? Probably bothers them. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ugly board. I think so. Says, the, I disagree. If you look closely at the board, I think the board looks really cool. I think it's thematic. Yeah. I mean, look at that. That's really nice artwork there on the board. All right, you placed? Hmm. I did. What you doing there? Read nothing into that. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, we're technically one-fourth done with the game, but it will actually be a little bit slower when there's combat, because combat will slow the game down dramatically. <laughs> well, I thought maybe that would happen. Where's my other? I have to dominate. I'm missing another token though. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't know. I don't have it. Out of my green. Is it in that stack of squares? They call me a square. Maybe it's in the box. Uh, yeah. All right. So anyhow, think. Go ahead. Blink. All right, I'm just telling you that this is a move token. I, my other move token must be in the box. I'll have to look for it later. But that's a move token. <laughs> I'll just go, go look for it now because that's really bad. No, no, no. The computer's on top of it. That's why I haven't oh, I <laughs> pulled out the box. All right. You placed... No. Yeah, that was my fourth. That was your that fourth. That was your four? Yeah. You've oh, one, two, three, right. four. Okay. All right, so anyway, move token here. So I'm going to fly the ship here mm -hmm. and then dump one of these guys there. Okay. Oh. Oh. Actually, I don't think Elder make that noise. No. Nope. That was a really, really... Uh, what do we do? <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> something stupid. Hey, right. don't call the Elder stupid. We just did. 
<laughs> Does that mean fuck you? I dude? attacked my own world. <laughs> War! All right, over here. Uh, card. But this time we're going to be buying one of those upgraded order cards. This lets us build, we're going to build this one. When I build, I can build a second uh, building on the same world. Okay. That cost me two. Wait, 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 on the same world? Yeah. So you can have two buildings on one world? Yes. So that lets you break the rules? Kind of like my mind lets me break my rules. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool, though. Yes, it is. All right, we're manufacturing here. Um... Okay, so I'm going to go Oh we gotta build the units first, okay. So we're going to Yeah <laughs> I understand that this game may not be the most interesting to to watch. I mean And then because we're gonna be doing thinking and you can only think so much aloud without alerting then, your opponents what um, you're doing. But yeah. we will be getting to a combat soon, so you can at two, least see how one works. It might be a short combat, but... Not to mention, if, if you notice here, uh, Sam is, like, girding for war over here. Uh, with ships and orc boys and bosses and whatever. So I've done one, two, Stupid names for orcs are. I'm using a forge hammer to... Purchase a knob, and then I will. Mm, no, I won't do that. Hmm. And we're restricted by number of models, right? Yes. Of course. Anything less would be. You need to build a city, man. Yes, I do, but, um, I will purchase the city, can't use that, 4-3. Alright, I'm also going to be upgrading here on this one, uh, I'm going to spend, for free, I'm going to spend one of these tokens, to build, actually, I have one city. I'm going to spend a hammer and two of these tokens, and I'm putting out a tank. Two, two of what token? One of these to subtract two, and that, and then the whole thing costs me two. Two and a hammer. Okay. And then I'm going to spend the last two, and we're going to build a bastion here because we do not wish you to conquer that world oh, yeah. a bastion is kind of like a defensive thing it also keeps your opponent from um, orbital striking you can orbital strike against the planet and kind of just drop things on them um, yeah I should have thought this through a little bit better uh, someone is uh, just asked a question like, "What do we think of the monetary value like this compared to um, Kemet or Cyclades?" Got a question. The amount of money, but you're only seeing half the components of the game. This is a four-player game, so there's this many components for two more players. Do you mind if I turn this in now? I should have when I bought this onslaught ship. Oh, I don't care. Okay, that gives me two bucks back, which I'm going to automatically use to. Um, you're upgrading cards? Yes. An order card, or are you adding more to the deck? Um, adding more to the deck. Okay. Now, it's my turn after Sam does this, but because his order token is on top of mine, I essentially have to pass until I have an order token free. So he gets to do something in that world before, before myself. Mm -hmm. Put mm -hmm. Mega Knobs in. And hmm. We're taking 
Hmm. Slug a boys out. All right. Your turn again. Really, I'm that far behind. Huh? Not, not saying that. Yes, I am. Uh, all right. One order left there. Yep. Is it reinforced? No, it's move. <laughs> all right. Um. We're going to. Uh, We're going to through here and mm -hmm. then here. Okay. okay. And then um, we can move one of these to one of these here. Mm hmm. Here. With that guy. And with that guy. All right. Well, in answer to showing you guys a battle, I'm going to anyway. Okay. So I'm coming in here. I'm gonna fly this ship to here and bring my wraith guard in here, which was honestly not what I was planning to do. Okay. But what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna one wraith guard is attacking these three units. We're gonna move them over here. We're gonna show you how combat works because combat in this game is very interesting on how it works. So. We have these units that are going up against each other. Each unit is going to let us roll a certain number of dice. So my Wraith Guard allows me to roll two dice. What, is it, what do you roll for all your guys? My knob lets me roll two. My knob, uh, my, my big guy here. And then uh, both of my Orc Boys also let me roll two. So I'm rolling six dice. Yeah, so again, this is pretty dumb of me to do. But I mean, we're just showing off the thing here. So I roll... An eagle and a gun. And Sam rolls four guns and two eagles. Four guns and two eagles. Okay? That's the very first thing we do is we pick our dice. Then we're going to take our decks of cards that we've been building. So we each have ten. Oh, not that deck. Sorry. This deck. Here are ten cards. We're going to shuffle that deck and we're going to draw five cards. And we're going to have three rounds of combat. So the five cards that we draw... So here's the five cards that I have drawn. I'm going to pick three of these to play. So now what we're trying to do is we're trying to have the most eagles at the end of the battle. Whoever has the most of those is the winner. However, you have to survive the battle for that to happen too. So this is pretty... I don't want to play that one. Okay, so I'm going to play this card, and Sam picks a card too. And attacker, attacker yeah. plays first. So Sam's picked this card, so I'm going to turn my card over, and we're going to look at what this card does. First of all, this card is going to add one gun and one um, eagle to my side. So now I have two guns and two eagles. And then I can either gain up to one die, or I can gain one eagle. So I can gain an automatic eagle on a die, or can roll a die. I really need guns and shields, so I'm going to roll the die. So I rolled another gun. Then I can convert up to two of my shields into guns. I don't have that. Okay. Oh, we forgot to... Were you going to put in any reinforcements? Yeah, well... It's one wraith guard against three. Yeah, I'm not going to... Okay. I'll, I'll wait. We have, if we had reinforcement tokens, we could have added those. Then, the top part always happens of a card. The bottom part happens only if you have that unit in battle. Now I do. This is a yeah. wraith guard. So I can, my opponent has to route one of his units unless he spends a die with an eagle on it. So, will Sam route one of his units, or is he going to lose one of these dice here? Oh, actually that surprised me, I really thought you would do it. Alright, so now Sam's card plays here, face the camera with it so we can see. Alright, so... <laughs> Biker knobs! Okay. Once again, before people think I'm really dumb here, this is really honestly a demo of how the battle works. <laughs> okay, your opponent must reroll all guns. So do that. How many guns do I got? Two? Yes. Alright. 
So now I have a shield and an eagle. And then since I have a knob present, I gain one gun. Now the, the, this time he gains a token. This token's only going to last right now. Okay, so that's the end of a round. And at the end of a round, we're basically shooting at each other. So I add up all my guns, which is one, against Sam's shields. He has one shield. It's on the card here. So I don't hurt him at all. Then he adds up his guns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to my one shield. He does six damage. A Wraith Guard takes four to kill, so he's dead. Which instantly ends the battle because I have no more units. And that is partially how battle works <laughs> if all your units are killed. Yippee skippy. I have to say that was... That was not good for you. I know, but I want to show how the battle worked. Alright, so then the five cards that you drew, you go back in your deck, you'll keep using five out of ten cards every time, and we continue on. So that's the end of round three, actually. And so we pass the turn order token to Sam for round four. Oh. All right. Go ahead and pick your... Oh, wait. Uh, any ratted units come back. So Sam's unit was actually ratted there. It would stay ratted in case there was something else happening at the end of the round. This would come back up here. No one got any objectives. Nobody... We each collect materia, which I think changes for you. Yeah. Goes up. And... Then we draw events. Six, seven, so my event happens first. It's a scheme. Farsight. At the start of an assessed damage step of combat, I can discard this card to take all my units into combat and place them on a friendly area. Oh, that would have been really useful to have. I did scheme here. I just forgot to place the token over. No, it's fine. Sam, I, I have the ability to... Um, I had the ability to basically just... Run from battle, which would have been really useful last turn. Yeah. All right, moving one of these. Set your army too. I'm gonna move this one here. Okay. What the runaway part? Yeah. Other aren't. No, no, no. We it's a tactical. Get them. It's a tactical retreat. Place this card in your play area and discard all your other ones. So this one's gone now. When an enemy unit is routed during combat, you may discard this card to destroy that unit instead. And I got a flip. Got a flip, got a flip, got a flip, flip, flip. So what do you got to do with the... What is this? How does that go? Is it rotating? Yeah, or? it's a rotate. Well, you can always, if you want, you can always rotate it up against a wall, too. Yeah. That's what I'd recommend. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, that was bad for me. Yeah, well, big surprise there. Yeah. All right. All right. Round four. Place your token. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, I didn't make a lot of wise choices in this game. Yep. Place that there. Um. Man. All right, fine. I'll place that there. All right, so
Yeah. <laughs> all right. Joy, all right, you're first. All right. I feel confident there will be another battle this round. <laughs> I could be wrong, but... Okay, we're going to uh, flip here. And come over here using my uh, orc rocks. So we got a battle here. What's the matter? We're battling. We have another battle? Yeah. You have org rocks again? Oh, that's right. You always have org rocks. I always have org rocks. All right. All right. So once again, we're doing another battle. You can only do that once per round. That orc round? Okay. Yeah, orc rocks. Org rocks. All right. So again, uh, this time we each get dice. This time I'm only getting two dice. Sam is getting four, I believe. All right. Push them. Let's put them up like this there. Okay, so these are the initial ones that are played. Again, we shuffle our decks. We draw four card, uh, five cards each. Sam goes first here. I'm probably going to die again, but hopefully not as brutally as I did the last one. So we'll see. <sighs> All right, that's my card. I'm attacking, so it's my turn, right? Right. I go first. Um, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Becker knobs. Again. So my opponent must uh, reroll all guns. Okay, I got two shields, and. And then I also gain a gun. So right now you have that. My card adds a gun, also gives me a die, which is an eagle. I can spend an eagle to force you to choose and route one of your units, which I'm going to do. Route one of your units. I'll go ahead and route him. Okay, so then again we look at guns. I have one gun, Sam has three shields, nothing. He has three guns, I have two shields, so he does one damage. Now, my guys take two damage. No, they take one damage to kill. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right. Well, you once guys again. Fill in that sound bite. What? Come on. All right. <laughs> so, once again, Sam is victorious and blah, blah, blah. No one cares. Let's do business with you, sir. Shut it. All right. So. All right. Here. I'm going to um, build, and I am going to spend another, no I'm not, uh, oh I got these guys dead now, so yay, I can build them again, <laughs> isn't that special, I'm going to build him, you're welcome, and then I'm also going to build a city on the same planet here. Well, I don't think you're planning on attacking that planet anytime soon. But I have two cities now. Two cities lets me build my big ships. It also allows me to buy better cards. Are you on... Yeah, you should be fine. You only got three units. Yeah. <laughs> Again, this was a bad mistake for me. To put that there, I forgot that I can only defend it with one. Dominating here. All right. Well, while Sam's dominating, I'm gonna be upgrading a card. Okay, you're doing that. I am. So you can go ahead and do your. I'm going to upgrade here, which. I no longer have ranger support. Not that that matters. Okay, that's going to be 
one one buck for the knob that was really dumb to two for an attack ship And then, um... This game does go faster if you're not playing with a Sam. Four. <laughs> Just for that, put a battle wagon out. By using a forge hammer to do so. Well, that's right. Maybe I should do that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna... Alright. That's it for my I'm done already. Go ahead. You're done? Okay. Oh, oh, oh no, that was, oh you did that. I'm just going to dominate here then and take a reinforcement token and a hammer. Alright, your turn. Well, you have no choice here. Yeah, I know. I bet it's a move. I, I was right! Um, so can attack, but I can only leave... Yeah, thing you can there. attack with as much as you want. The problem um, that you have is you have to you have to hold that planet at the end of the round. Yeah. Well, I mean, I might not... That may not be... You don't know what this is. Yeah, right. I know exactly what that is. Would I have had the foresight for that? Thomas... Is it happening? Yeah. Yeah, another battle! Exciting! I have a, I have a base this time though. A bastion gives me extra dice. The best thing about the bastion is he can't, he can't um, bombard it. Otherwise, you would have done that, I'm sure. Why can't I? Because the bastion stops you from doing that. Oh, I got you. The orbital strike. Otherwise, you would roll the orbital strike and just wipe the guy out. Right. How many dice does the Bastion give you? Same thing yeah, for everybody, right? It gives me right? two dice. Yeah, it gives you two. So it's going to be four dice? It is. I know you're not used to me having more than one die. No, everybody has everybody has base two. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> you're just weenies, that's all. Um, Alright. Uh, where did you where did get you ready to rumble? Where did you put me? That's your thing. Um, where did you put my token? Yeah, I took it off. I don't know what I did with it. Oh, it's over here. Alright, so I get four dice and you get six dice, right? Yes. Alright, so rolling dice. I roll a gun, two shields, and an eagle. Of course, Sam rolled 7,000 guns, or four of them. All right, now, are, um, are you committing any reinforcements? No. I am. So I have one reinforcement here. The reinforcement's good to soak up damage. He counts as basically your weakest dude, which I have one of here. So, I still don't get any extra dice, but now we will shuffle and draw five cards and play cards with Sam going first, since he's the aggressor. The, the United Nations. And those, you know those new cards in this spot? They're so, helping you out a lot, huh? Well, I would be if I had drawn one. Okay, I'm the attacker, so I'm going to play Mega Nubs. Yeah, someone's asking if Sam can land that many guys. He can, but they're all going to die except one. 
if, yeah. if, if, if they it's, don't die during the at battle. the end of the battle at the end of the battle you have to you have to obey this so I must reroll all shields well, okay now then you gain a shield token all right I'm using the howling banshees I get a die which is a one of these and I will spend one of those and you have to route one of your units all right, so Sam has five guns, and I have one shield. So that's four damage. What in the world? All right, fine. Awkward silence. Now I have two choices here. I can... Die? I can die or I can or tact die. tactically tact Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna okay, so that's three damage there, blow that up and I'll kill my reinforcement for the fourth damage. I do three damage to you, but you have four shields, so hmm. Hey, but but wait! We're at a second round of combat! <laughs> Hitherto unseen! Alright, hang on, let me move this camera. I just realized that our picture is blocking out. Okay, there we go. Alright. Second round of combat. I'm so excited. Where are my cards? Let's see. Here they are. Yeah, we're still gonna die here. Oh, we're gonna play this card. Wait, no, 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 I don't want that card. I'm gonna do that one. Okay, I think so. I'm the most the combat will last is three rounds. Yeah. Yeah. Four cards, come on. Remember what? All right. So now all the symbols that he has from the first one stick around, and my opponent must reroll all guns. Well, that's fantastic. Now they're all shields. You get a gun, and then I get a die, which is another eagle. I can spend one to make you rat one of your units. So I will. Okay, but I think here it's time for my far far sight. I'm going to use that to start of the assess damage step of combat, which is now. I'm going to discard this to take all of them and put them in a friendly area. I'm out. Okay. Run so, away. Run away. So what happens here now is that Sam... Well, they actually don't. I actually am going to be attacking you in just a moment. Okay. So well, do these guys stay around, though? No, because they all die. They go away, right? So he, he's left with his big dude there, and now I'm going to hit him with a weenie and a tank man here's my thing how much do I come after you with because if I bring too much I lose it all but if I don't bring enough true see you would bring enough this comes here. but I am a gambler so that's it I'm just gonna bring in the fire prism or the falcon and I'm gonna bring in my dude I am bringing in a all right, but we saw I have five dice and you have two, I guess, right? Yes. Oh, no! The tables are turned! Shoot you. All right, so we reshuffle our cards and draw five of them. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
Alright, 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 hang on. Alright, hang on. We need like card wells to keep the cards in that we're not using because I keep grabbing the wrong deck of cards all the time. Or you just put your deck over here on one side of the board and keep everything else on the other side so that... Good. Okay. Um... I don't see why I wouldn't play that first, so let's just do that. All right. Go ahead. Fire Prism. Convert any number of your eagles into guns. I'm changing them all into guns. Because we're in a murderous mood. If you're attacking, gain two guns. So there we go. Alright. Your opponent must reroll all shields. So then I gain a shield. <laughs> Alright. I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine guns to your three shields. Uh, five shields. Five shields. That's still four damage. Is that enough to kill you? No. Yeah, it is. You're four. I know, but I got him here. Ah, boo! He's fucking robbed me. No, no, no. He's, he's, he's killed. Dead. He's dead. And then he's routed. Okay. Because of the extra damage. Oh, you're still alive then. What? And then you do one damage, and I have one shield. You only have one gun? All right, so the knees go away. Some posture, man. All right, all right. I'm feeling okay, though. Feeling okay. Hmm. All right. Fire Dragons, Vengeance, that adds two more guns. And if I'm attacking, you can't gain shield tokens this round. Okay. So what, what do you gain? I gain two shield tokens. Okay. Oh, I should have. Oh, that's right. Biker knobs. You must <laughs> all of the guns. All right. Ah! Shields, gun, gun. And you gain a gun. Alright, so now we do one, two, three, four, five, six. And I have one, two, three, four, five. So that's one damage, which isn't enough to hurt you. And then you do three guns worth of damage, but I have four. Well, it doesn't matter, I got five, six shields. Okay. Alright, so these all go away. That was round two. Final round of combat. Alright, so if I don't kill Sam here, which is possible, well, less like, well, maybe not. Depends on how many shields he plays. If I don't kill Sam, I can still win. He just would have to retreat back to the planet, um, a friendly planet that he could get to, which he can get to one. So for him, it's all about surviving this round. Or pulling off the win, but I don't think that's possible. In order to win, I would have to kill both of your units. No, you would have to survive and have more of the flags. The problem is, if you don't route him, he's worth three flags, and he's worth two flags. So that's five flags. If you route them both, then it's none, and then it could be a toss-up. It's always possible. If you did two or more damage, you would route both of the units. You'd kill one and route the other. But even then you would even have flags and hope that I'm not playing a card that gives me flags. Which I'm not. I promise. <laughs> On my word as an Eldar. Mm. 
I guess. Um, Oh, I can't man. do that, man. Oh, gee whiz. Remember, we're live. I know. All right. All right. Mine adds a shield and a thing, and I can gain, and I'm going to gain an eagle. And I can convert two guns into shields. No, I'm not going to. <laughs> Alright, flip your card. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it's not like three guns. No, it's not. Shields. You must re-roll all your guns. You don't have any. Your opponent must re-roll one gun for each end route. Okay, no, so I don't have any orc boys. Okay, so. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shields you have to my one, two, three, four, five, six guns, so no damage. You have three guns. I have four shields, so no damage either round. So now the battle's over. So then we count up flags, which it, I win because I have two, plus I get flag value for both of these since they're unrouted. So Sam loses and has to retreat. And then I can only keep one guy on the planet, so this guy dies. The battle is over. Well, now you guys have seen a full-fledged battle, that's for sure. All right. Well, that was... We are now halfway through the game with pretty much no progress. Except we got forces in each other's faces. And this stands back up now. Alright, placing stuff mm -hmm. out. Okay, first we, yeah, we collect, ma first uh, collect materia. I get three, six still. And you get a card, and did you do a card this turn thing, or no? No, I did not. All right, but you still get to move the Warp Storm. Yeah. I just discarded that one, so I need to... Did you... Huh? Do I go first, or do you? It was your turn, so you go first. Okay. All right, this just moves it... Like so. I'm gonna... Alright. I'm looking up the scheme event cards real quick on event cards. Blah blah blah. We draw one. No, that's that's gone. Okay, never mind. Okay, so I have to draw this one. Vicious Raids. When resolving an orbital strike, I can re-roll my dice if I want to. When resolving an orbital strike. Not oh, a big deal. All right, and then I rotate the other one. Oh, do I want to shut off this whole area? I don't. All right. All right, you, you go first. I do. Boom, ba da boom, ba da boom, ba da boom, ba da boom, boom. See, my biggest problem, folks, who are watching, is that I need to get this area up here, and I don't know how I'm going to do that. I thought this would be a quick a quick take on that thing. I didn't realize we'd get so hung tight over that planet. That only being able to leave one guy, that makes it hard to defend. Yes, it does. If you had gone second, you would have had that. 
I know. Oh, I know. Yes. Oh, you're going second now. Oh, wait. Yeah, you are. What happens if we tie at the end of the game? Like, what if no one has gotten anything? Alright, so, players the most objective tokens wins the game. But what if there's a tie for that? Let's see what the other rule book says. Uh... I'm going to dominate here first. That gives me a reinforcement and a hammer. Actually, you know what? I don't want that reinforcement. I want the, the gears. Go ahead. Okay, Sam, if it's a tie, whoever is the most friendly world wins. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're happy with that because you got more <laughs> friendly than I do. <laughs> building a factory here. I'm done. <laughs> oh, when I dominate there, I'm sorry. To do my That's right. We, I keep forgetting to do those dominate things myself. So I can only do one. Yeah, one unit and place it. Right. So that's that. And now it's back to me. Mm-hmm. Mm Okay, so you're moving into that area. Yeah. You can fly stuff from an adjacent area in, and you can move stuff in. It's up to you how you want to do it. I'm not sure what you're trying to do. Well, why do you want those? This guy. Do I have to put him here, or can I put him here? Yeah, you can put him there. It doesn't matter. You can fly from one void to another. Okay. Put that guy there. I can't shuttle back between two sh two two things though, right? Right. Okay. So. I want to <laughs> shuttle these people here and right. shuttle this guy here. Uh, how did he get there, though? Well, if you did it out of order, you could. Huh? Do it out of order, right? You go here. One, two, three. Okay. All right. All right. Here I'm going to build again. Now that I got a factory, I'm going to spend this plus four. And out comes a Void Stalker. Yippee skippy. He's a nice chap. Actually, I got a dollar. Never mind. This guy's cost two. You guys are cheaper than mine. I like to point it out. Are you attacking now? Yes. All right. Here. And Once again, there's war. And he's using the orc rocks. Anybody can do that? Even the tanks? It says you can move up to two of your units. Ah, uh, yeah, but you can only come in from one area. Remember, when you move in, you can't. You can only move from one adjacent area. Oh, okay, I forgot that. I forgot. Uh, 
for God. Right, you could bring oh, in Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't have to bring him in, do I? Because this is a free shuttle between two worlds. No, oh yeah, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, and then I can bring two. All right, let's do it. But I have cards that match my tank. I don't think you do. Well, of course I don't have cards that match your tank. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Once again into the breach. Combat on turn five. Alright, before we draw cards, so we roll dice. I'm going to be rolling three, and I think you're rolling five, right? Seven. Why seven? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I was looking at uh, costs. Yeah, I'm rolling five. Alright, I rolled two shields. Those were two shields. And a gun. All right, so now we're drawing five cards. Oh, wait, are you committing any reinforcements? I don't have any. I'm not either. That's interesting. That's not good, though, actually. All right, I'm playing that. All right, so this is battle for one of the... Your right. opponent must reroll all shields. All right. Is that a knob or an onslaught? It is a knob, so I also gain a shield. That's not a knob, is it? This is a knob, yes. Oh, wow. I now I have a knob in a battle wagon. Why would they call like the big guy a knob? But all whatever. Right. All right. Uh, my guy has two guns. If I'm attacking, I'm not attacking, so whatever. I just add two guns. Okay. So, you have two guns to my no shields. <laughs> so I am uh, dazed. But then I do five guns to your four... Sh oh, never mind. You have a lot of shields. Yes. All right. And I'm going to discard this card. What does whenever, that do? Whenever your opponent's unit is routed, he's destroyed instead. Get them! Get them! Oh, that's not good. All right. Well, another quick round of combat. Whoa! Sorry. <laughs> All right. My final one here is movement. Moving him here. And um, yeah, that's all I'm doing. I'm going to create. All right. Let's see. Let's seven to work with. Brings me up to seven. Hmm. Okay, so all routed units are not routed any longer. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, dang. I got to use. You gotta kill the knob. Yeah, this battle wagon's better. Doesn't matter though because Sam gets this token at the end of the round. Yes. Are you done building up over there? No, I haven't haven't even started yet. Of so. course. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right. Meanwhile, I'm gonna run through the end of the round stuff here. That does that for me. Going to. Yeah, I'm doing that. I'm going to use this to get minus two on a, another battle wagon. So that's two points for one of these guys to here. Alright, I'll answer questions. And meanwhile, uh, doesn't Sam have to destroy one of his units? He I did. did. Uh, this looks like it'd be more fun battle-wise with more players. Actually, it's more fun battle-wise with two because when you're playing with four, you can kind of just sit there and wait. Using a forge hammer to else's. build a kill cruiser for five. All right. 
Okay, so uh, I moved my Warp Storm, so I don't think you bought a card this turn. Nope. So... I need to slide it. Okay, we don't really got a wow. choice there. Okay. That one's there, though. Yeah. Which is actually pretty critical, because it stops you from... You, Sam has to capture this area to win. Happily, I built a factory on it. Actually, Sam doesn't need to capture that to win. He just needs to stop me from capturing anything. All right, Sam, you're first. Round six. Oh, okay. That doesn't matter. Just put out your token. Okay. Did you add your money? I did not. So I get three, six... 10, 11. Yeah, this is problematic. I'm just going to lose on, on terms of economic scale. I can't, I can't afford to pump out the stuff um, Sam can. Let's see. One, two. All right, you're first. I'm going to scheme. <laughs> Me too. So we'll scheme together, or those separately. I need a new order. That's for sure. Where are my other orders? They're over here. That's my deck. All right, let's see here. That's cool. I don't like that. That's silliness. Actually, I don't want any of those. I'm actually not going to use that. I'm going to just add myself a tactical card. Walk faster! What does that do? Um... I can I can build monuments or or I can build structures first before. Oh, that's right. Units. You can build beforehand. All right. And then uh, I'm not going to do the other thing. So uh, your Let's second start. one. Yeah. Well, you don't got a choice. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, you're building again. Yeah. Well, while you're building, I'm going to dominate. Which gives me another hammer, and we're going to take a reinforcement this time. How many hammers do we need? C4. Sam's next turn will be skipped Three. because both of his remaining tokens are underneath this one. So I'm actually going to flip this and build. And I have a lot of money, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to spend most of it. Five to build a tank, and then two to build a wimpy dude on this planet. Okay, I built, you still are skipped, so now we're doing space combat. Okay. So we have two ships on two ships. Cards don't even help you, do they? Well, yeah, yeah, your cards will say the different things. Oh, yeah, 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 I um, So I have a total of six dice. How many dice do you have? Two. They only roll one die each? Yes. Oh! Finally, the LR superiority, which I thought was should be evidence the entire game. All right, 
right, so three guns, two shields, and oh. that. Are you bringing in any? I don't have any. All right. So shuffle your cards. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Draw five. I would like to totally obliterate your fleet. That'd make me really happy. Come on now. Come on. All right. Mine adds two guns and a shield, converting a number of these into guns and changing that to a gun. And if I'm attacking with a Void Stalker, I get two extra guns. Okay. Yours better not be some stupid, I'm retreating out of the battle. You must reroll all guns. <laughs> all right. Are those onslaughts? And then I also gain a gun. Those are onslaught, onslaught ships they're called? Yes. And I still got two guns back. Onslaught attack ships. All right, so at the end of that round, I have six guns to your two shields, so you take four hits. How many hits can they each take? Three. So one's blown up and the other is disabled. You do two, four hits back, but I have four shields, so I'm fine. All right, round two. I apologize, folks, if I seem a little bloodthirsty here, but you've seen how he's been treating me. Alright, if I'm attacking, you can't gain any shields this round. And I also get two, two, two shields tokens. Rally one of my units. <laughs> and then, uh, since I'm Onslaught, I gain one for each Orc Boy or Onslaught, so I gain a gun. Alright. I do six guns to your two shields. Doesn't matter, I blew you up. But you do four guns, yeah. Huzzah! That was a crushing victory! It's in space, man. What do you expect? I expect you to die, Mr. Healy! In space, I will. Come down to the ground. Okay, well, since I'm... That was... You have both those... Those left now. Okay. Uh, we're going to manufacture. Um, and... We're going to put a uh, my there. mouth is fine, thank you. Well, I mean, it still hurts, but it's not like it was. Put a bastion here. Um, Can I build a bastion without having a factory in that system? Or do I have to have a factory in the system first? No, you can build a bastion. Okay. You don't have to have a factory. You can only because you can only have one planet uh, building on a planet anyway. Right. The factory just produces units. Um. Now I have a question. Oh, you built a bastion? Yeah. I kind of messed up what I was going to do. <clears throat> um, I don't have enough to do that. Well then. Um, when you build units, it can be placed, it has to be placed where the factory is, or can it be placed in any planet in the system? Having a brain fart. When you what? When you... When you build at a factory, it has to be Yeah, you can build units anywhere. In that system? But you only can build the number of units on the place where there's the factory. So you can yeah. only build four. Okay. Well, then, I will... Uh, you know, we've done this all without using the dice tower. We keep forgetting. Well, <laughs> you you didn't use it, so I I followed your, your lead there. I forgot. Um, okay, this is what I shall do. Going to spend... Oh, whoa. What am I doing? Two bucks to then build a factory here. And then... Oh, I need to... 
And then I'm going to yeah four for a battle wagon man. I'm surprised you didn't build a Titan. Can't didn't couldn't afford it. I would have. Oh. <laughs> I didn't have one of these guys left. All right, well then you still got something else here. Yeah. Is it dominate? Yes. Dominate. Um. That gets me that, and then I can build one unit of my choice and place it on a friendly world in the active system. I don't have any place to put it, so I'm not going to do it. All right. Um. Now my. Tokens have gone somewhere, I think. Okay, here's one. I'm still missing the one. Ah, it's over here. I placed. I actually did what I was supposed to do. That's why I missed it. Um. So now we're all done. We are. Um. You were first that round. So you do your. Did you do a card? I did. You're just first then. All right. So flip it over. It's a tactic. Take one of your units from any world and place it on any uncontrolled world. That seems kind of cheesy. While you're doing that cheese, okay, I'm going to move one of the warp storms. I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to put him here. Um, then I can, oh wait, and that's a tactic. Now, when you pull tactics having not actually strategized during the thing, so you don't actually get this part of them, do they still shuffle back into the deck? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I'll shuffle back both of these back in. I get a free city. Wow. How is that? Not well, better than what I just did? It costs one materia. Okay. Oh, oh, well that makes it all better. It doesn't matter at this point. Uh, you can just take it from me anyway. No, you. it's the same as moving a thing, except now you have three cities. Yeah. That's totally better than, than what I had. Well, I just got the three cities is going to matter. All right, now i gotta, right. I got to switch the warp storms here. Yeah, you're so, first. Mine is the rotate one. So... Mine's also rotate. Well, I guess you should know that, but rotate that one up here, like this. Yes. Fine. I'll rotate this one like this. Okay. stuff back that happened after we took money right that's correct okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven Actually, all right i'm playing this you, one you, you placed Go ahead. your second one i did okay We're in the seventh round of the game. Unless I can pull off some kind of miracle, Sam has it in the bag. Oh crap, I screwed that up. No. 
May, may I? I don't care. I'm sorry. I'm about to see how he won. <laughs> you don't have to let me do it. It's up to you, bro. You've already won. It doesn't matter. I don't. I don't think it's physically possible for me to take to take your planet, especially not with the amount of money you're getting and the amount of money I'm getting. But we'll see. But I do roll the skies, and I thought you should know that. We have, uh, we're using sky writing materials to write really rude things about the orcs' mothers. Golly. Hey, man. Mm -hmm. We don't care. It's the bitterness of the loss. Okay, that's... Have you placed your fourth? Yes. Well, I think I have. Yeah, because it's underneath that pile. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. First one. Cards. I'm actually going to buy strafing run here. What does that do? Yeah, let's me ignore Bastion's one orbital bomb. Interesting. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to uh, dominate here, which gets me a forge token and a thing in the Doogie Hopper. Go ahead. All right. I'm not going to build a unit there. Domination! I'll take another hammer because. <laughs> As you can see, Aren't, isn't there a limit how many you can have? Oh, that's right, only three of each token. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Um, another hammer, and uh, I'll take a, another reinforcement. How did you take another reinforcement with that? It's that wild. Oh, the wild thing. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Purchasing here. Um. Why you purchase, I'm going to dominate here, because it doesn't matter. Let's see. I'm going All right, well, I say I'm purchasing. I will answer more questions, maybe. Kill cruiser for normally five minus two, so three. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. Five minus two, so three. Oh. Well, I was going to orbital bomb you. Now it looks like we're just going to fight. <laughs> I don't really care. If I can get some blood out of something, I feel happy. Is it my token next? You got no token there, man. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're not. Now, let me ask you something. Is that a movement thing? Yes, it is. Are you going to come get me? Can I come from here, too? Yeah. So I can come from here and here? Yeah. Okay. So we're fighting? Yes. I don't care! Although, if I lose this, then I'm going to resign the game. Because there's no point to playing out the eighth round when I can't... If my fleets are gone. However... We do not plan on losing. I'm rolling my full complement of eight dice. How much dice did I normally get? Three each? Three each. Hmm. There, I used my dice tower. Oh yeah, I still need a dice tower. That's why I'm losing. Four guns, a shield, and an eagle. Excited. Killing orcs makes me feel happy. What's the two numbers in the upper corner of each combat card? Uh, that's a good question. Here, I'll show you a combat card I'm not using here. The gold one is how many cities you have. You have to have that many cities in order to purchase that upgrade. Um, and then the green one's the cost. Yeah. So like this one here, I don't need any cities built, and it costs me two 
materia to uh, buy. That's the cost when you're putting them into your deck. All right, okay. you reveal yours first. You got to reroll all of your uh, guns. Guns. No, I'll get the onslaught thing. So. Okay, that was a shield. Gun, gun. Yeah! What is that? Fire prism. Convert any number of your eagles into uh, guns. Wait, 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 wait. Do that again because I think you. I think you messed up on. You had a shield and a thing. You did not roll four guns. You did roll a shield. And you, you fine. grabbed it. Fine. All right, so then you're like that? I think so, yes. All right, fine. I didn't mean it. I cheat. could be... Oh, I'd rather you just do it all over again, because if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I think... Yeah, but then I'll lose my three guns! Oh. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind. If you're happy with it, I'm happy with it. I'm converting this into a gun! <clears throat> And if I'm defending, I can force my opponent to lose five shield markers. Which you don't even have. Mm -hmm. But you would have lost them if you had them. Mm -hmm. Alright, so. Six guns on, three shields. You take three damage. And then you do six guns on, three shields. I take three damage. So I'm going to... Ew. So I just route one of mine. I'm going to route my big dude. He's still alive. Really? That didn't hurt you? Uh oh. It routed one. Alright, fine. Next card. four guns. Did you change one of them? No. I had four guns. I know I did. Are you sure? I'm very sure. There's no reason because um, I, I know I had the same number of guns as you did. Yeah, I had three though. I just added another one. Oh, you had four at the beginning. Um, uh, Alright, then it's a gun, I guess. I don't know. People who are watching can tell us. I have no idea. What are you doing? Alright. Your opponent's about to reroll all shields. shields. He doesn't like anything I roll, huh? And then you get a shield token? No. No. Oh, those aren't on slots. Right. Alright, blah, blah, blah. I get a die or a. Yeah, I'm getting a die. A shield. Convert two of your guns into shields. Ain't happening. Oh, that was stupid. Okay, well, anyway, um, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, six, you take one damage, so another one of your guys is, and then you do three, four, five, six, seven, two, four, so I take three damage, which blows him up. All right, round three. <laughs> All right, wah! All right, gain that or an eagle. Yeah, I'm gonna gain a a die, a final die, another shield. I can change two shields and the guns, so I will. All right, uh, you must route one of your units unless you spend a one of these. I'm assuming you will. All right, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six guns to my three shields. So you, that's three damage, but my guy survives. 
And then I do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 guns to your 6 shields. You take 4 damage. Those guys are 5, right? They're 6s. They are 6s. What happened to your my superiority of the sky? Well, that's that. So Sam wins that. Oh, actually, did you ever blow my guy up? No, you didn't. No. So I just have to go here. All right. Now I could come back if I want it. Could you? Even though your your uh, troop your I don't know. I'm not. I'm not going to. Okay. At this point, realistically, I'm calling it. Because there's no way I can get him to take this planet, and there's definitely no way I can get that planet. Mm -hmm. So Sam has won! I concur. Yippee skippy. <laughs> Alright, we'll answer a few questions, folks. We don't got a ton of time, but we'll answer a few questions here uh, about the game or other things, and then we will end. Let me get this set up here. I will move this. <sighs> Space combat should have a different deck. That's a good idea. Well, no, I don't mind that they have the same deck. I know what they're saying. It's because the pictures and the cards, but space combat happens a whole lot less. Yeah. So, I don't mind that at all. Okay, we are going to turn off that one. All right. I'm not sure if we are in sync in time wise but anyhow we're definitely not in sync <laughs> all right so if anyone has any questions they want to ask we'll answer a few questions here about the game we'll be doing a review of it that'll be posted later this week Is this a repeat? I've seen Tom lose this game before. <laughs> You're a jerk, Rodney! No one likes you! Or they wouldn't if they played a game against you. Ooh. Oh, maybe not. I will say this. Um, I really enjoyed this as two-player. Yeah. And I think that I might almost, almost... I think I would like playing this as two-player the best. Yeah. It was a good two-player game. It was a lot more back and forth. There was more strategy. I was wondering if it was like just grab their planets, but we actually had to think back and forth. And I did some stupid stuff at the beginning, um, which I think does snowball. Yes. You really can't lose You'll units for no reason at all. All right, so um, does this game suffer the problem from knowing who's going to win, but you have to play for another hour? Uh, don't play. I, no, I don't, I don't think so. No. I mean, we knew on turn seven I couldn't win. But, but that's I'm, not another hour. There's only two objectives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hang on, let's go back here. Does this game make your top 100? We worry about that later. That's not the thing here. Well, would you rate it? Watch a review of that. But I, I mean, obviously I like it. Um, what's the most innovative thing in this game? For me, the most innovative thing in this game is the way that the cards work in combat. The whole guns. And, I, I, I think the whole combat system is very intriguing. Because there's a little bit of luck with rolling a dice, but other than that, you built that deck. You have to figure out the best card to use that situation. Are you going for attack, defense, or just trying to survive and then get the battle points? I think it's a pretty cool three different strategies. Along with that, I think oh, it takes... Yeah. Grab that mic. Sorry. You, should, you should probably have the mic on us. Um, I think it takes deck building in a different direction because you're not actually building your deck, you're modifying your deck. Uh, and I don't think that's innovative per se. Um, well, it's probably not innovative at all. Um, but I can't recall any games that I have played where you, you, when you're building your deck, you're taking things out of your deck and replacing it. Um, I don't recall any games like that. So maybe maybe you can. I don't think so. So that that might be my. Uh, ooh. That might be my innovative part of this thing. I like how it, it takes the deck building and your deck doesn't get fatter. It just gets more the way you want it to be. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Um, someone asked what the distribution on dice is. It's three guns, two shields, and one eagle. Which is good because 
the one thing that's neat about the game is it really pushes you to attack. Yes. There's no turtling as I mean, at the end, Sam turtles, but especially if you're playing in a four-player game, you have no way of turtling. People are attacking you all over the place. How did I turtle? I didn't turtle. No, at the end of the game, you could have. Like, on turn eight, you would have turtled. Yeah, probably. Um... Uh, do, do the Eldar slash orcs feel right to you? The Eldar definitely did. They felt like they had good spaceships, which they do. The ability to warp in and out. The units, I like them. Their tanks were stronger. Their regular troops weren't that good. They have better firepower than they have defense, which is definitely Eldar. Yeah. Um, the only thing I didn't like about the orcs is that you don't start with any ships, which I guess fits the orcs a little bit better because they are definitely a ground-heavy force. And you could, you were throwing rocks um, at planets, yeah, so and, I don't... And that's that's probably why they included that in there, because that's that that upgrade that you almost have to do on the first turn. Can I see that deck real quick? Uh, the upgrade deck? Yeah, so, so someone wants to know how many different combat cards... No, no, not that one. The combat. How many different combat cards were in the deck? So you start with five... The huh? times two. Ten. So that's Start ten. Ten. And then you have all of these. Right, so how many are there? How many different? Yeah. Uh, I didn't separate them. One, well, this two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten more. So you have ten different cards you can place in your deck, and you're not going to use all of them over the course of the game. Um... Is it worth the playtime? Well, yeah, I think so. Who's the designer? Who is the designer? Um, right there. Right there, right there, right there. Uh, James Niffen, Samuel Bailey, and Corey Kineska. Well, no surprise that Corey's involved with it. Um, the other two I don't know off the top of my head. How similar is it to StarCraft? The orders, the order markers are the same as StarCraft, but I didn't feel like it was much the same other than that. It felt very different. Yeah, it does. To be fair, it's been almost it's a been decade a since we played time. StarCraft. Played StarCraft, but uh, the order system is really the only thing I remember being similar with. But again, a, that's a decade talking. The dial in front of Sam, you didn't see us. We were using these, though. This kept track of your money. Yeah, that keeps track of your money. Um, what game would you compare this one to that exists now? Uh, I can't think of one. I mean, I guess if you really, really want to stretch it, I guess we could compare it slightly to TI3, but man, this is a lot lighter than TI3. A lot lighter. Um, I don't know that it's lighter. Well, I think it is. I mean, come on, it doesn't doesn't take nearly as long to play. Well, that's shorter. I don't know that I mean, that's the same as lighter. There isn't, um, there isn't a tech tree that you really have to take take into account. There isn't a political phase. There isn't... Yeah, that's true. I, 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 I think there's less chrome. I just don't know that it's lighter. Well, I certainly think it's 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 easy, easier, but I don't know if it's lighter. I think this is a lot easier to play than TI3. Oh, I like this question. Will Fantasy Flight release the other armies from Warhammer 40k like the Tyranid or Necron? Is the sun yellow? Fantasy Flight always does it. Hmm. Here's what I think they're going to do. I think they're going to make um, expansions with new factions, but they're also going to make expansions for the existing ones with different units. Like Maybe. card packs. I'd buy those. Yeah, could be. I'd be more interested in the actual expansions that have a variation in the armies first than, than the uh, expanding the armies that exist. Yeah. Or like a different board. Like, this is the Orcs. And... and um, they're they're very specific. Like the Eldar that I was using was Craftworld Eandin, or however you pronounce it. I looked it up. There's no one no one can There's agree. A debate about it. But maybe get another Craftworld where some of the numbers were different and had a different thing here. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. Yeah. And different orc factions and definitely the different. If there was Blood Angels, you'd get that. Yeah. Well, no, Dark Angels. Oh, Dark Angels. Sorry, you don't like the Blood Angels. No, I don't. Am I got someone paint the minis? No. This is when I don't really ever want to paint the minis of these really small games. They're I. What, this isn't a small game. No, I meant the small minis. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and the the minis are pretty easy to differentiate. I don't think that I'm looking at Sam and going, I wonder what that that is that's coming at me. 
No, it's a Titan or it's a tank or it's something, you know. Yeah. We were talking, another guy, we were uh, at Cool Stuff was saying that it would be very difficult to do these because they're also color specific for the, for the person playing them. Um, but I don't think that's a, upon further thought, I don't think that's a thing you need to worry about because this model is so much different than, I mean, this is the same level of, of uh, spaceships. They're so much different. You don't have to worry about it, that what color they are. You can just paint them whatever scheme you like. But the models are small, so it would, it would, it would take a while to do it good. And I don't think it's worth it. Um, well, we're actually caught up in questions. Do the races feel balanced? Um, you mean asymmetrical but still balanced? I seem to be so far. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think either Tom or I could have won that game, irrespective of, of what race we were playing. Okay, what he means is he's pretty sure Tom could have lost the game regardless of the race I controlled. If you want to look at it that way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 I played the Outer and I played the Chaos and I've seen every race play. The, uh, the Marines play differently. The, the Chaos is... Uh, the, the cards kind of focus what you do too. I, it seems pretty balanced. Yeah. Um, e each, each army has their own feel to it, but there isn't one that's more powerful than the other. Alright, there's not combined arms in this game because, well... The, the combined arms... The way the combined arms works is the cards in your deck. Uh, because some of those cards work better if you have different guys in your army. Actually, I think it promotes having a lot of one type. Mm. Well. Why doesn't cool stuff sell nothing personal? <laughs> that's because uh, Game Salute does not sell to online gaming stores. That's their decision, so that's why. And Tyranids, yes, would probably be purple. Yeah, probably. Pink would be funny, though. That would be. What's the next game you think you'll stream? <laughs> uh, give us some time. We got Origins around the corner next week. So after Origins, between Origins and Dice Tower Con, we might stream something, but I haven't really given it much thought. So we'll let you guys know when it's coming. Um, do you think you could win the game if you wouldn't lose your first battle? Yes, I'm going to go with that. Well, I shouldn't have thrown that ship away. No, you shouldn't have. You shouldn't. You shouldn't have. You should have called that off, especially after I reinforced. But whether that threw off the entire game, uh... I think it's pretty obvious it did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, dark. No, yeah, dark auto would be purple. That's true. So, Tyranids. What would Tyranids be then? Pink. No, white probably. White. Oh, well, maybe I don't know. Uh, not white. Oh, uh, let's see here. Still not a lot of questions. You can ask about anything. It doesn't have to be about Forbidden Stars. So um, we got a few more minutes if you have any questions. And there's 293 people watching, so we can answer 290 questions because three of you. I have a friend who is a huge fan of 40K Universe and the lore novels, but he's not a big board gamer. Would he like this game? I think so. My, I hope so is, would be my concern. Yeah, my thing is this. If you played the game and you're in love with the tabletop game, the regular miniatures game, I don't know that you're going to like this. Uh, a guy asked me on Twitter earlier, will this replace uh, 40K? And I really have to say, for me personally, if, if I was playing the game uh, 40K now, I don't think this would replace it because it is so different than the regular tabletop game. But if he doesn't play the tabletop game and it's the universe and the lore and everything that he's interested in, I think, I think he might like it. I would at least give it a try. Hmm. What are the similarities between Forbidden Stars and Looping Louie? <laughs> Absolutely none. No one's asking questions and instead they're asking, they're arguing over what colors all the factions will be. <laughs> That's so not important. We don't know when this game's coming out. Probably sometime in June, though. I would, I would imagine. Um, uh, is there a way to destroy planets? Not in this no. game. Orange um, for Nids. Yeah, that'd probably be good. Orange for Nids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, I would say that. How about just paint it every different color, randomly? Wow. I still, mean, think, I still think I still think I should have played Tyranids when I first started because my painting job wouldn't have been as mocked. People have been like, <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant to do. How many maps can you make with this? Well, actually, there's quite a few. Every board 
double-sided. Is double-sided with different things on each side. Um, I mean, it's, it's essentially the same numbers, but a different layout. Usually there's two planets or diagonally or next to each other, and you can rotate them. So we actually built the map out there trying to build it so that it's away from someone. Again, there's another huge error I made was making that one planet that can only be defended by one person one of the objectives for Sam. Now, that right. helped me out briefly the one time because he attacked and I was able to take it right back from him. Right. But if he had a, the next round, what could, what could I do? If I could have defended that with two or three, I had a better chance. Yep. And I like that. I like that the battle, that the making the map is part of the strategy mm -hmm. of the game. Um, so uh, there's uh, 12 double-sided boards. We use six of them. Uh, you have to use your home planet stuff. But other than that... Uh, let's see here. How's bombardment supposed to work? Yeah, you didn't see orbital bombardment. I was planning to on Sam on the last turn. You simply, instead of attacking on a turn, you basically roll dice for each ship, and each gun you roll does some damage, so you could effectively kill units that are on the, on the thing. It may not kill them, but hopefully it would. It's very similar. Uh, well, I don't know if... I can't... It's similar to the bombardment in TI3, I think. How... How does my opinion change after my first impression again? It's still pretty much the same, although I didn't play a two-player game there. Um, playing a two-player game, I, like I said, I think is where I'm really at with this. I like it a lot, two-player. Because four-player is really twice as long as the two-player game was, I think. Four, yeah. I would say it's an hour per player. That seems pretty legit. And I think Sam and I could play the game faster, too, as you get to know it better. Right. Do you think 3D printers will affect board gaming in any shape or form? Could. I don't see why they wouldn't. I think what we'll see as time goes by is that companies will let you buy files and you can print out pieces for your games. So you'll be able to print out your own promo pieces. You'll get a card, right? You go and get a promo card and there'll be a little code on it. You scan that code <laughs> and then boom, you can do your 3D printer. But 3D printers are still not in everyone's home. I'm a huge tech person, ask Sam. I like to get all the new tech stuff, and I still don't have a 3D printer because <laughs> that's expensive. really expensive. Although I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I keep thinking about it. Um, what's the best Memoir 44 Army pack? Pacific, Eastern Front, or Mediterranean? I'm going to say Mediterranean because I like getting the extra British troops in it. Um, that was probably my favorite one. Uh, I wasn't really interested in the Pacific Theater. I still bought it, but... Uh, the Pacific Theater wasn't that big, and wasn't that big. And then Eastern Front, I thought, was pretty cool too to get the Russians. So I, I'm a big um, Western theater f fan. Yeah. So uh, I wasn't too interested in Pacific stuff, but the Eastern Theater of the well, uh, Eastern Front, I guess you could say, not Eastern Theater. Eastern Front is and Mediterranean were were the two that I liked the most. Um, someone said that the warp storms didn't affect this. They affected it a lot. Yeah, they did. There were a couple turns where we could not do what we wanted to do because they were blocking us. I think they're very interesting because they make you reevaluate what you're going to do each time. That's probably another innovative mechanic. I mean, I don't know if it's... Uh, it seems innovative because um, you're able to block movement. I guess that would be handled in different aspects with other games, but... Um, I thought it was a really cool thing here that you had at least a little bit of control. Only once did, did, did was my choice made for me. Um, you always have a little bit of control over how you can place those warp storms. So, I liked it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we're going to do a review of Chaosmos eventually. Um, <laughs> you got to read Eric Joseph's. You got to read that. <laughs> did you get the Apple smartwatch? I, this yeah, is, yeah, that, that's the Apple smartwatch. My, my answer to that, let's see if I can phrase this properly. I am not wearing the Apple smartwatch. How's that sound? <laughs> that was a truthful answer. <laughs> am I excited for Secret Wars for Legendary Marvel? Yes, I think. Um, what do you think of Heroes of Normandy making Best Historical Board Game in nomination for Origins? It's a pretty cool game, so I don't see why that's a bad thing. Yeah. Uh, spiel predictions. I say it's going to be um, Elysium and 
It's going to be, for the regular one, uh, it's going to be, um, oh, the Machikuro. I can't see how those two aren't going to win. Yeah. I don't really care about the other one, but I think uh, Elysium will, will win. I do like Orleans better than Elysium, but I think Elysium is really unique and interesting. Um, what's your favorite smash-up combo? I just played, um, I didn't win. Mimic Wizards for me, probably. Uh, cyborg monkeys and bears. That was, cool. that was fun to play. Did you play that one? Yeah, I played it uh, last Tuesday night. It was it was fun to play. I didn't win, but it was fun. Alrighty, well, folks, we should end this here. We'll do some more question and answers in the future. Obviously, I hope you enjoyed this, um, and thank you for coming on and watching. Um, so, anyhow, I guess that's it. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and I'm Sam Healy. See you on the flip side, folks. You've been watching the Dice Tower. Now I can press stop. <laughs>